Governor Ralph Northam. Now, how much could I say about this man that hasn't been said or he hasn't said about himself, basically admitted about himself? And I went to school for pediatric medicine. What kind of doctors are they growing in Virginia? really kind of funny because all these years the Democrats have been saying that the Republicans were the party of the KKK and we have um, let's see Robert Byrd who is Hillary Clinton's mentor and Obama put up his statue in the Capitol Rotunda Obama and Bill Clinton eulogized him. I can't say that enough. See, because it's, it's so strange him being the first African-American president. So he was a Democrat, and Ralph Northam is also a Democrat. And he first didn't know, I don't know if I was the, the picture in his yearbook of the KKK, somebody dressed like the KKK, and then somebody in blackface. He didn't know which one he was. He didn't know, and he, ne he never wore blackface. And then he had said, well, later on I wore blackface, but I was doing a Michael Jackson. I had the glove and the sequin, the, the, the shoes and the hair. And, and you know, it's, it's, I didn't put too much shoe polish on my face because it's so hard. To, you know how it's so hard to get off, you know. So you kind of think that he, you, you ever see Foghorn Leghorn? You know, you all thought they, I thought they, you know, how it's hard to put the shoe polish on your face because you got to put a little bit on because it's so hard to put off, you know. But Farcorn Leghorn in Looney Tunes cartoons was a big rooster. I don't think he was a racist, though, but I can't imagine Ralph Northam saying that about the shoe polish with the Foghorn Leghorn voice. So, you know, the thing but is, is, could you possibly imagine putting shoe polish? What would possess you to put shoe polish on your face, even a little bit? It seems kind of damaging to the skin, especially if you're in medical school. You, you should know that that's damaging to the skin. And, and it looks terribly unattractive. And you know, anybody who puts shoe polish on their face or says they do it when they're trying to be Michael Jackson, First he said he didn't do it, and then he did it later on, but he was being Michael Jackson, but Michael Jackson had awfully white skin. I mean, he started very dark, but he, his skin lightened over time tremendously, so I wouldn't think he would even need to put shoe polish on his face. Being Michael Jackson, I think that's kind of, but why would that make you look like Michael Jackson at all? shoe polish on your face. I, I Somehow, shoe polish on my face, who was he trying to look like? I, I, I don't... He, Michael Jackson is African-American, descendant of slaves, American first. But that doesn't look like, and with the white lips, that doesn't look like any of them. Michael Jackson was beautiful. You've seen him this little boy when he when he did Thriller, Off the Wall album, beautiful face. 
what would shoe polish, how would shoe polish make you look, I would think that would make you look less like Michael Jackson, even when he had darker skin. You would look really, really, really ugly. Possess you. If you don't know which one you were, you could have been the one in the in the KKK robes. That's also extremely unattractive to me. What would possess someone to do that? Is is it a ha ha or something? And then the president of that particular college. When he got in about 10 years ago or something, he abolished, 20 years ago, he abolished your books altogether because he saw some of the stuff that was in it, how awful it was. What would possess somebody to do stuff like that and take pictures and put it, especially when you're 25? And what would possess Robert Byrd to be the grand exalted cyclops of the KKK? What two things do you think that has in common? And other Democrats like Ethel Fulbright, the mentor, and, and Orville Favis, the mentor of Bill Clinton, and also Orville Favis, good friend of Al Gore's family. Did you know that? Isn't it strange all these Democrats have something in common? It's really interesting. But the most ghastly thing and it kind of it kind of hooks together with the Democrats. Is this whole oh we'll keep the baby comfortable, y'all, yeah, y'all keep the baby comfortable and then we'll have a discussion with the mother and uh, see if she wants the baby to live. Oh, so have a nice little chit chat about it and the baby's all comfortable before you execute it which should be really a pain. But the baby's been already born. There's no more. I don't want to care. This is my body. Nobody has a right to my body if I don't want a baby. The baby's lying there and breathing. It's a whole different, this is no longer abortion. We're not talking about a woman's right to choose or anything at this point. The baby's lying there and breathing. Now, what does this all have to do with the Democratic Party? And why would a Democrat be in favor of this? It's, it's funny because Stephen Crowder called the NAACP today and he talked to them and he asked them as if he was doing a questionnaire, which is worse. And therefore, see, they're they think that he should step down because of the blackface or the KKK outfit. The KKK outfit was worse than the blackface, but they totally approve of infanticide, which is the baby's born no longer a part of the mother's body, under or in the body of the mother. Baby's all full term and totally born and breathing. They're for killing, talking, and having that little chit chat, and keeping the baby comfortable until they decide to kill the baby. See, they're for that. Democratic Party's for that. And then I told you a little while ago, a few videos back, that Barack Obama. When the vote came up, if a baby in a botched abortion is born alive, should you give it care? What should you do with it? He voted for you should put it in a utility closet and let the baby just die. He voted for that, which is interesting. See, he's, he's a Democrat. He's a half African, not African American or descendant of slaves, black American. His family didn't have that experience. His mother was white. Is Democrat, and so he supposedly should be speaking for the black community. But somehow he's for this procedure. And the baby's already born, you know? See, that's the thing, the baby's already born. And when he was in the Senate, a nurse came in that was present at a botched abortion where the baby was born alive. And she was told to take the baby and pull it in a utility closet, shut the door and just let it die. That's a wonderful way 
thing to do. I mean, that's so humane. You know how liberals, Democrats say that they're bleeding heart liberals and they care about all the children coming over the border and the babies of the people coming over the border illegally and, and all the children of the world and how Trump is killing, putting the children in cages and Obama didn't do it, but he did do it because the people are, are bringing them over, or just bringing them over to get in the country and they're not even their parents and their parents and they will eventually have their parents come over after they put this child through hell. But Obama did do that, by the way. Stacey Abrams, or I should call her Sour Grapes Abrams. You know, because she's just like Hillary. Both of them think that they won the election. She said that Obama never did it, but he did do it. And he tear gassed the people, too. He used to do it all the time. And also bombed a lot of innocent Muslims with drones. 90% of the people that were killed at each drone strike were innocent people, and they were Muslims. And I thought he was pro-Muslim. But you see, there's a little fallacy that we have in our heads about Obama. And the funny thing about, why would any black person, somebody descended of slaves, be for, well, first of all, why would you be for the Democrat Party? You've been watching my videos. Why would you be, for, be in the Democrat Party and for the Democrat Party when they destroyed the black family by instituting welfare? and making the father not be in the house. Opening up immigration, the immigrants that came into this country took jobs for lower wages, and they brought the drugs into the black communities and destroyed the whole family, black family. And then Margaret Sanger, who's the one who started Planned Parenthood, She was a Democrat, and she would attend Klan meetings, and she wanted to get rid of the black communities because she didn't want too many black people running around and minorities and poor white people. So she is the one who started Planned Parenthood, and basically the mass killing en masse of not just white babies, of poor white babies, but um, black descendant of slaves. So you would think, you see, I think if this didn't happen, half the country would probably be minority. It wouldn't be minority. It would be half African American because they were here long before us. They were here right at the beginning of this country. So by right, they should be half the population by now, or almost half. And we might have had several presidents that were American descendant of slaves that were brought over from Africa. We might have had several at this point, 100% at this point, if it wasn't for the fact that there was a great lessening of the amount of children that should have been born that couldn't be born because the fathers couldn't get jobs and the men couldn't get jobs and they couldn't get jobs for a good enough wage and they were working after they were released from slavery the black family was together they went to church and I know I've mentioned this before, but they were going up so high so fast and they were working such long hours because they really had a very good hard work ethic. There was no drugs. And the Democrats, Jim Crow South, Party of Se Segregation, didn't want the black family to succeed. They didn't want descendants of Africans slaves to succeed because it would 
put them out of business. They would have to answer their boss could be a descendant of African slaves. Their president could be a descendant of African slaves. Said we got a president that was just half African. And not descendant of slaves, half white, Democrat. Why would somebody who is half African, but he's not descendant of slaves. Why would he be for abortion when the Democrat Party instituted abortion? Actually, it was a bunch of white men who decided that on the Supreme Court that we would allow abortion in this country. While the women say, a man has no right in the decision about anything to do with Roe v. Wade, when they're the ones who decided it. They also decided civil rights, too. While the Democrat Party always opposed civil rights, they kept trying to quash that. Why would, a, why would Obama, before he was proven, he was much younger, he said that it's, it's, it's the white, you know, They've got him on tape saying that about white supremacy and the white man keeping the black man down, which is kind of correct, but it's the wrong party. It's the party that you belong to. It's the party that you became president under, the Democrat Party. That's the party that destroyed the black community and the minorities. That's the party, and that's the party who instituted Roe v. Wade abortion by a white supremacist, Margaret Sanger, who is Hillary Clinton's mentor, and she got an award from the Margaret Sanger Foundation. So why would you, Barack Obama, be for infanticide? the babies born alive? Why would you be for abortion when there was more black babies aborted in New York City than were born? Why would you want to keep the black population down? Why is the NAACP oh, they're, they're for, that they're against the picture of him Clearly, he's a racist Democrat, and we're finding that these racists are Democrats. That's what the interesting thing, that these KKK members are actually Democrat. And Hitler was a socialist, which is the same thing as communism. So, but you're for NAACP, National Advancement of Colored People, started actually by Jewish people. Uh, they helped get that organization started, but not necessarily that they're now the people that that were called by Stephen Crowder. So we were trying, everyone he called, he was called businesses that are owned by black people. It was okay. Killing the baby and found Why is it, and that the black community is bought into and did, little do they know it's the KKK that did this. The party of the KKK and Jim Crow and slavery is the Democrats. That's the party. That's the reason why there should be more strong black families. There should have been a black president descended of slaves a long time ago. But Barack Obama is for something that Margaret Sanger, a white supremacist, started to get rid of black people. And the NAACP is not only for abortion, but for infanticide. Actually just killing a baby outright that's born and breathing. No longer it's the woman's body and all that other stuff that goes along with it. Of course, Bill Clinton, a Democrat, signed in partial birth abortion. 
that you can kill a baby in the third trimester, a baby that can live on its own. See, the Democrats are pushing that along because Bill Clinton, the president of mass incarceration, three strikes and you're out, that somebody commits a crime three times, is convicted of a crime, goes to jail for life, and that impacted the black community more than any other community, and then put so many fathers in jail, thousands and thousands and thousands of fathers in jail for the rest of their life, could be petty crimes if they're in jail for the rest of their lives, and that was a Democrat whose mentors were KKK members and segregationists. I guess I'm trying to figure out who's more uh, well, you got your white person, who's the racist white supremacist, dresses in blackface, and agrees with infanticide, because in his mind there may be more minorities, just like Margaret Sanger wanted. More minorities die. But I don't understand, especially somebody as educated as Barack Obama, and Michelle Obama, she went to Princeton and got her master's. You should read her master's, by the way. You should read her master's. It's very angry. She's a very angry piece of work. Everybody should read her master's thesis. Why would they be for infanticide? See, as a senator, he voted for that. And you see this nurse, nurse I was telling you about, she was told to put the baby in the closet, shut the door, let it die. She didn't do that. She went into the closet with the baby and held the baby. You're not supposed to hold the baby or give it love or touch it. You're supposed to let it die cold in the dark closet. She didn't do that. She held it and gave it love until it died. And she went before the Senate to plead the case to not let this happen. If the baby can live, let it live or at least give it love until it dies. And Barack Obama voted for the opposite. So, so quite a sad story. So who's the one more at fault? Ralph Nathan? And of course you've got Lieutenant Governor who none of the Democrats want to say, oh, I don't know, the facts aren't all in, we don't want to just judge. We don't want to just judge when the woman who says that he sexually assaulted her and they had, there's proof and evidence that there was a sexual relationship together. She can tell you where it happened in Boston, the Democratic Convention, where, when, the time, everything. She's got all the facts. instead of Miss Blazy, who doesn't remember anything, and the witnesses, the people at the party, weren't even at the party or didn't remember. Nothing was right, not the time or the day or the year or anything did she remember, but a woman must be believed. But when it comes to the Lieutenant Governor, the Democrat of Virginia, and the accusers got all the evidence lined up, can't believe her. And you know what? She's black. Shouldn't she believe, be believed? She's a black woman. Who are the Democrats on the side of is what I want to know. Are they, are they behind the Americans who are descendants of African slaves who've been suffering in this country for years and have been intentionally destroyed by the Democrat Party. Oh, that would mean the Democrats are not for Americans, descendants of African slaves, are they? So it makes me wonder about Barack Obama. Oh yes, and that statue that he put up in honor of the Grand Cyclops of the KKK in the Capitol Rotunda. 
Let's never forget that. And let's strengthen the Americans descendant of African slaves. Bring them together the way they were. And they used to go to church every weekend and the gospel music. And I said in another video, when you hear that, they're so close to God so much closer than I will ever be. It was beautiful. And the racists were envious of them because they knew they were going to outdo them real fast. Let's give them a chance. Let's bring that family back the way they should be. And you know what? If you look at everything Trump has done for the minorities who've been oppressed, they've got a chance under him. And God help us, give us another four more years. He's done what he can do to keep this country American and capitalist and strong, strengthening the education system, school choice, school vouchers, which have proven Black children, one month's time, can turn their learning skills around, reading, math, everything gets turned around when they're in the right school that's giving them the right attention. Yes, and that's one of the things Nancy Pelosi did not clap at, something that's been proven to help the black community rise up because you have to keep them going to the government school, the school that is not doing right by them and you must make them stay the school that is not teaching them or not being schooled properly and learning well they should have a chance to have a voucher to go to another school that will take care of them so they learn and they rise up but nancy pelosi i noticed could not clap for that she had to look at the papers. She had these papers to look at. What side of the Democrats are oh, Nancy Pelosi? She just loves all the people coming over the southern border that are taking the jobs from African-American fathers at a quarter of the wage, where they used to be able to raise a family two children and send them to college. These construction jobs are taken for a quarter of the wage. People who are getting benefits from the government. And remember she said, grandson's wish on his birthday, he wanted brown eyes and brown hair like Antonio. And she said, oh, it was just so beautiful. You know, Nancy Pelosi is blind because I've seen her grandchildren and I've seen her. They all have brown eyes and brown hair. I think she's blind. So what about the African Americans? What about them? Should we do right by them? I thought, huh? Oh yeah, that's right, you're a Democrat. You're a Democrat. Need I say any more? Good night.